Hey, what's up guys? Martin here, and it is August 26, 2022. It's Friday here in Iceland, and the volcano activity is still in the sleeping mode. The last video I put up of the drone view, where we can zoom in and see the inside of the crater, looks pretty dry. There's really no smoke coming out, so there's really no lava in the surface uh, visible. Here we're in the, just wanted to check the door.is, which is the <clears throat> great site for weather forecasting, earthquakes, tremors, wind conditions, and um, we're looking at here at the Reykjanes Peninsula, and there are some earthquakes happening, not too crazy, um, as we see the chart here throughout the days, it's very, very mild, not even crazy at all. There's no magnitudes over three. So things seem to be in a normal, calm state. If we check the tremors graph, uh, you could see the how everything kind of just stopped <clears throat> starting around the 20th to 21st of August. Here's the dip. And that's when everything kind of stopped. And then between the 22nd till today, 26, it's been a low um, up and down kind of scenario. There's looked like there was some progression on the 23rd and 24th. Some slight uh, mild spikes, but in overall general, there's just... A very kind of smooth, low tremor measurement activity as far as uh, any signs of another eruption. So we still have to kind of look at this and observe it. There looks like a upwards trend happening today on the 26th. There was some slight smoke coming out from the crater, but nothing crazy. 3D model map that I'll put in the description below the link so you guys can check it out this was the last recorded on the on the 16th of august so that was the last time they made this uh 3d render which is an amazing model if you want to check the the region here in uh, meta delir your new eruption area and again this was all captured by photographs taken by an aircraft um, developed in collaboration with the Civil Protection and Emergency Management of Iceland and the University of Iceland and the Department of the Icelandic Institute of Natural History and the National Land Survey of Iceland. So always amazing uh, work by these departments and organizations to put this together and create this phenomenal 3D visualization of Meta Delir and the Fragadalsfjall uh, area of both volcanoes as you can see in the screen here the old volcano and the new vo well the new mini volcano so very interesting to see this was during so the 16 it was still erupting and you could see the lava coming out of the out of the small crater that it was created and you can zoom in very very close and get some details of how far the lava has moved in the region you can check out the the initial stages where everything started, which is right over. Oop, moved up a little bit, which was right over here, uh, along the side of this mountain. That's where everything kind of started, and then then this became the center of attention as far as the eruption. You can also rotate and check out the mountain where everybody kind of sits down and watches, which is right over here. This is kind of like the seating area for the spectators. And then there's the tra trail that leads you to the to the seating area of the mountain. And by the way, this I just did a video the other day um, as far as the trail to get here. If you're still coming to see the volcano, although it's not erupting, the trail, which is path A, is now completely paved. So it's from the parking area to the crater up here, it's one smooth road or at least like path, um, where before it was very rocky, 
um, and you kind of were going all over the the place because there was no indication, just indication of sticks that would just lead you to where you need to go. And now it's like one paved path, which um, uh, amazing job by the um, volunteers and locals that um, spent hours just um, putting the path together for people to uh, walk on. Uh, so yeah, I'll leave the description. F I'll leave the link to this uh, model and um, and the other sites that we saw, and we'll see uh, what happens in the coming days if this uh, volcano continues to erupt uh, again. So it would be another resurrection, or uh, if something else happens, maybe somewhere else. But right now, there is no schedule. Nature has its ways, and we just have to kind of wait and observe.